Welcome back. So what happened in the past one month? Uh, I wasn't really active. And that's because I started to write a game. Um, as you might know. But now it's different. Because I started, <laughs> started to write another game. Uh, for mobile. And this is what I want to show you right now. So this is the main menu. This, is, this was a 10 days project right now. Let me uh, play it for you. Okay, so as you can see at this point, uh, it's pretty much a uh, Tabby Surfer, but a uh, verse. So I wanted to know how to create an Endless Runner, and uh, this is what I did. I made one, and now... So as you can see, the basic is like you have three lanes, uh, and you have obstacles, and you can teleport um, in between those lanes. I'm not sure why the recording is um, dropping frames sometimes. It might be my a PC, I have to clean it or something, but... Okay, so when you die, you have a death screen, which tells you how many co uh, coins you collected, which you can use for buying stuff. Uh, so under stuff, I mean, you can buy cosmetics. And the whole game is about cosmetics, because it's 2022, so... It's cosmetics. If you go to the main menu and you go to customize, you can change your outfit, you can change, like, remember that this is 100 by 100 pixels, so it's really pixelated on a PC, but it's a mobile game, so on that screen it will not be pixelated in theory. Fuck knows, to be honest, because this is my first game, so um, I'm experimenting this. So you can change your belt, for example, you can use the default one and you can use the other type of, uh, uh, the other colors of the belts. I still have to fix this bug um, when the image is, uh, just disappears. I'm not sure why. Uh, I have a theory, but uh, I still have to fix that, I think. So you can apply things you already bought or you can buy new things. For example, I have 400 coins and this white uh, skin uh, costs 200. If I click on it, then the lock disappeared. It applied me uh, the skin on me and then it... Uh, 200 coins. So basically, whenever you die, the amount of coins you collected can be used for buying stuff. So it's not a really good game plan, but it is a game plan. I think I'm sticking with this um, for the sake of simplicity, because I made this project just to practice coding and practice um, game making, which means it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be really complicated. I would just burn out if it was too complicated. So. I learned this side, and then I start a new project, I learn another side, and so on. As you see, as soon as the character starts running, the blue number on the top, top right um, starts to increase. And that's the score. So what the score kind of means is how much time you spent on this round. So how much time you, sp you were alive, right? And that is used for... Uh, multiplying or actually adding bonus coins after the match. So I have this in mind. If you reach like 500 score um, on a round, it's going to give you 200 plus bonus coins that you didn't have to collect. But because if you uh, reach that uh, score, the score limit, you get bonus coins. So it's like motivation for you to stay on the map, to try not to die. Um, which is a really good thing, I would need this CLI. What's up with the high score you might ask? So the high score is your all-time best score. Um, so it's 895 for me. And what I thought I will use this for is that if you go to the menu and you open up the outfit, you can buy this silver and this gold skin as well. And these are separated from the others, as you, uh, as you can see. And that's why, because these guys, you can buy these with high score. So this has a high score limit, which I believe is 500, but it's going to give me an error because I didn't really set this up. Oh no, it didn't give me an error, but I didn't uh, delete the lock. Um, but if I click on the gold one, it's going to tell me that I must reach 1000 high score first. And also we have katanas, and I know it's not really, uh, you can't really see it right now because I still had to set up like menu cameras and stuff. Um, so when you... Uh, click on buying katanas, come around, shift that and show you the katana you have. I still have to do that, of course. So I have five uh, type of katanas. 
and I don't have skins for them yet, but uh, it's uh, in, like I'm going to have one uh, or two or three or five that you can also purchase. But I still have to fix uh, the purchasing part, which is which is another story, man. Okay, so let me show you the rough insides because um, just for you to have a basic idea of what I'm talking about, why I'm bitching here, and this is because so when you open up, for example, the shop. It's, in theory, a really simple thing. So you have an icon, it's a button, so you click on it, something happens. You click on it, the game will ask if you have it or not already. And if you have it, if you unlocked it before, that asks the save game, basically. If you have it, then it's just going to apply that color to that specific item, right? Pretty simple. If you don't have it, then it's going to check your amount of coins. If you have more than what I assigned, the price, basically. Uh, if you have more than the number I assigned, then it's going to take that number, take, take that uh, amount of coins, and then unlock the uh, button, delete the lock, tell the save game that, all right, you got it, so next time you click on it, you don't have to pay for it, and then apply it, right? In theory, it's fucking simple. Let me show you how this looks. So this is it, and it's half done. So it's... So this... Uh, area is whenever we click, whenever we pull up this widget, it's going to ask the save game if we have um, unlocked those things. So it's a yes and no boolean. Um, and if we have them unlocked, if you have that's this uh, white belt unlocked, then uh, remove the lock. And you and when you click on it, it's going to look like this. So we pull up the save game and we see if you have it unlocked or not. If you have it unlocked and just apply the skin to so just do your function. Next up, if you don't have it, then let's see, so this is this branch, so then let's see that your current coins are less or more than the price they assigned. And if it's less, then you have not enough coins. If it's more, then get the same game, save game, sorry, get the save game, get the coins, subtract that amount, Set it to yes, you have it, and then save it to the game that you have it, and then remove the widget. And I'm getting a phone call. How fucking great. So after that, we subtracted that uh, amount that I assigned the price. Uh, then we told the game that, okay, you have this now from now, and then we saved it. So now, every time you... And then we apply it, of course. So every time you open this widget up again, it's going to get the black one, which is uh, this one, and it's going to ask the save game, do we have it? And be because we said that yes, we do have it, then it's going to unlock, uh, like delete the lock from it, so it's like there's no lock uh, anymore. And then when you click on it again, it's going to see that, okay, we have it enabled, so you just, or we have it, uh, not enabled, we have it, so just enable that. And basically that's it. But uh, so this is it, and I have to do this for every single one of these. I have to do this for the shoulder plates. I have to do this for the uh, color one, color two, the mask. I have to do this for the katanas, for the katana colors. I have to do this for every single one of these, which is fucking scary. But um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I guess. This is it. I talked again for 20 fucking minutes. So basically what I still need to do is uh, fix the widgets, fix the icons, a little more sound design, and then also give the game more obstacles. And when, I, when I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to release this uh, for free, of course. But uh, I'm going to release this because I want to have a game under my name. And this is good for a start. Does it have to be perfect? So thank you for watching. I keep you updated. Hit that like button and comment and all this YouTuber thing. So uh, I have an outro. I have a fucking outro. That's fucking right, dude. I have an outro. So now I can just mid-sentence, start to play it, look into the distance artistically. And it seems like we're running out of time, so I think it's time to start.